The making of modern China can look much too simple in the living picture version that's right in front of our eyes. It begins with the virtually intact face of Western imperial power that forced its way into Shanghai after Britain won the war to sell opium in China in the 1830s and 40s. The picture story culminates in the shiny towers of finance and commerce that have rocketed up just across the Huangpu River. 25 years ago, farmers were growing rice in the Pudong marshes, accessible only by ferry. Welcome to China X, the online drama of China's engagement with the modern world. I'm Christopher Leiden, multimedia journalist and longtime China watcher from afar, pressing my nose into the frame of an unimaginable transformation, which is ongoing. But this new China, this soon to be largest economy among the nations, is not a 25 or 30 year story. Let's think of it as two centuries, 1820 to 2020, in which China as a civilization faced a danger without precedent, without much preparation either, and survived. But it was challenged willy nilly to reinvent itself more than once. 200 years in China encompassed the collapse of the last empire, the Qing, and the founding of two, three, maybe five new Chinas in the ruins through several cultural revolutions too, and not just the one you've heard about. It's a range of tests of what it means to be Chinese, tests of the root wisdom of Confucian tradition, tests of family as the foundation of all human bonds. Behind the fireworks of an astonishingly resilient, confident, verging on rich modern society, we're going to see that the new China of the last 30 years was in fact a century and more in the making. Through early Republican and then nationalist and communist eras, we're going to see remarkable continuities in planning and building the power of China today. In industry, infrastructure, and entrepreneurship, in military capacity, and mass education. You are going to hear the story of how a multi-ethnic, multicultural empire became a complex of national and local agendas and initiatives, a place of hard rules and much creative rule breaking. In short, a troubled, promising, and now very powerful nation state. Not Ming, not Qing, but China.